Hello everybody. It's Poet WP again. I uh my last poem uh, was a poem about love. A romantic poem. I have a lot I have a, uh you know sh my share of very positive poems about love, but unfortunately <laughs> I've had a lot of bad luck in love. And, um, so that results in, uh, at least in my case, has resulted in many more <clears throat> sorrowful poems of heartache. This poem I'm going to share with you is one such poem. It's a short backstory I'll give of this poem. I was in my, when I was 16, I met this girl, who was my best friend, from the time I was 16 to the time I was about 23. We were inseparable, we were best friends. There was always a lot of romantic and sexual tension between us, but we were always just friends. We all both dated other people, and we spent a lot of time together, you know, like, four nights a week or so at least like a lot of time for years and years and years eventually I fell in love with her and she didn't want me it was unrequited love and, and so I just kept trying to be her friend and hell I think she may have even loved me at one point the timing wasn't right and then I missed my window probably and I tried to just be her friend and it we went on and on and on and it just got deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper Years and years, it just drug on, and I wasted like 15 years of my damn life with that shit. I finally had the courage to, uh, after about six years or so, I reached a conclusion. I was like, look, I'm completely in love with you. You're my twin flame or whatever, you know, kind of thing. And, uh, she went after my best friend, my other best friend, who was a man. I had two best friends as a kid growing up in high school. She was the chick. I had another best friend that was a guy. For the longest time, they didn't know each other. Then I introduced him. Then she, that she got with them, him. And that just devastated the shit out of me. And then they, neither one of them were my friends too well after that. But I still, I wanted to marry her. I wanted her to be my wife. I was completely taken with her. And uh, eventually I was just like, look, I can't handle being just your friend anymore. And it's tearing me apart. So, you know, it's time for all or nothing at all. As old Frank Sinatra says. So, nothing at all it was. And after that, I spent about a decade, largely because of that, but also because of other things, in pretty bad depression. I don't have that problem anymore, though. I'm on a different plane now, a different path. I'm not the person I was then. But anyway, I could ramble on about this for a long time, I suppose. But let's get on to the point why I started this video, this poem. Last year and part of this year, I was having really intense reoccurring dreams about her. And in the dreams, usually we were just... In the dreams, you generally, I was just... I just was hugging her and crying and apologizing and asking her to forgive me for all the bad blood and anger we've had between each other. Because of all the horrible emotions and discord and imbalance that was in our relationship and... I have these reoccurring, highly charged emotional dreams like that. I don't have them anymore, thank God. I'd wake up and be very upset, of course. Very emotional. And... The last time I had one of those dreams... Probably about... Four months ago. And when I, when I woke up... 
on that last dream I wrote this poem. And I haven't really had any of those dreams since then. Maybe this poem got it out. So anyway, this is a fucked up sad poem. So prepare yourself. The unconscious siren song of the one who got away. A great void of emptiness comes eating through with a simple song. You will not leave my dreams no matter how much I sleep or how soon I wake. These mental accessories are accompanied by a albatross of memories too flawed to forget that were too perfect at the time for me to capitalize on. I wish I did not know what I can't get back. My heart sets sail in your eyes and my mind is a mausoleum where the relics of aspirations take on the linen and liniment where dying flowers lay. Even with this morose candor, I have found new ways to live. And now I see what you failed to see in me. And when I knew you, like the back of my hand, you never knew me at all. You only thought you knew me. I never discovered my true identity until long after you broke me. I have trembled within the little death of self-reflection and dredged a mystic hell, gathering all the wisdom of pain. I am the last thought before you sleep. I am the thorn that makes you weep, the tearful embrace you will not seek, and I will no longer worship at your feet. All we had is dead, who you knew is dead. Only these dreams remain. We were once one and the same. I always know when you think about me. I can feel it emanating from the center out. Well. Like I said, that's a sad one. To be used for catharsis. I'm a big believer in catharsis. You gotta let out the negative energy. You gotta give it a name. You gotta give it a story. You gotta let it run wild for a little while. You gotta give it some form. In a safe. Artistic way. Like this. That's how you get rid of ghosts. You create things. Anyway, a little, little, little salt and pepper taste of rambling there at the end for you. Sorry if that's like a super duper bummer. Kind of malicious there at the end a little bit. The anger. It is what it is. Hope you liked it. Hopefully nobody's crying. I got through it without crying, so that's an accomplishment for me. Alright, catch you next time.